Edmonton. Welcome to our channel and thank you for logging on. Today we continue our journey through the Grand Seiko collection with the Grand Seiko Ninus Mechanical 20th Anniversary Limited Edition High Beat GMT. This is a timepiece known as S. BGG 229 with a glorious combination of deep blue ceramic and high intensity titanium, a bimetallic two timer powered by a specially regulated 9S caliber. Let's throw this one on the wrist and get a quick impression of its general size because I can tell you the first thing that you'll notice when you wear the watch is that it's actually a great deal lighter than you would expect for a timepiece with a diameter of 46.4 millimeters. Far lighter, in fact, ceramic and titanium both being exceptionally low in mass. They have a high hardness factor, but low density. Now, the watch is intelligently fabricated with cladding or sheathing of ceramic over a titanium core. So even if cracked straight through, the fracture can't continue all the way through the case. Grand Seiko creating a watch that combines the scratch resistance and beauty of ceramic without any of the fracture or failure risks of ceramic. The watch is thinner than you might expect. I measured it at 15 millimeters and it's not quite as thick as it looks. It has a sheer size or a sheer side, I should say, but it will slip underneath a jacket cuff. Now lug to lug, it's a big boy. No getting around that, 52.4 millimeters lug to lug, and the end links of the bracelet, 54.8 millimeters. There's a spacing of 23 millimeters between the lugs if you wish to accessorize with a strap, but I recommend you keep the bracelet because it is sensational two materials and multiple different finishing techniques employed. You can see there's a handsome channel between the links to break up the mass of material and the ceramic has been elevated over the center so it actually looms beyond the titanium links on the flank. A combination of polish and satin. It's incredibly handsome and nicely articulated and you can see that the clasp bestowed on this sports watch is suitable for sporting applications with a combination of fine adjustments internally, four different anchoring points, and twin triggers to unlock it. So you must depress both triggers to open this clasp. It cannot simply pop open, and Grand Seiko didn't resort to the cheap clamshells often used in sports watches elsewhere in the industry. Now here you can see to better advantage how the cladding system works. The blue ceramic over the titanium inner case, and you can really get a sense of that titanium inner case from the bottom. So the ceramic, effectively as scratch resistant as a sapphire crystal, means that this watch will have long wearing durability. Unless you do something truly violent and traumatic, there's a good chance that the ceramic surfaces of this watch in service will never even gain a scratch. There's a 24 hour bezel in ceramic, ringing a dial that features a dished rehaut or chapter ring, giving way to a metallic blue mosaic center. And the timepiece has a wonderful florid radiating spiral pattern from the center with motifs that echo Grand Seiko's logo again and again in a beautiful geometric fashion. There's also a wonderful array of blues about this dial, a darker metallic about the dial base and then a lighter metallic about the indices themselves. All of the indices hand finished and placed by hand with luminescent material. There will be a loom shot at the end of the video so stay tuned and you'll see that same blue tinged metallic tone about the aperture for the date. Now it is a specially regulated 9S and we're going to talk about what that means in a moment but first Behold the quality of the faceted Dauphine style hands at center for the hours and minutes and the enormous spade style counterweighted needle seconds hand. The watch does feature a number of subsidiary settings modes so you can actually pull the crown out to extremity, your hands will not be gloved, and you can stop the balance and you can set the watch to the second against a reference time but you also have secondary setting modes including a adjustment mechanism that allows you to step the local hour hand. It's a 12 24 hour format dial. The local hand at center in 12 hour format can drive the date in either direction as you cross the international date line. It has a screw down crown and the watch boasts a robust water resistance of 100 meters so it is a true all around sports watch. Underneath the blued titanium winding mass there is a Grand Seiko specially tuned caliber 9S86. Now it is regulated to no worse than minus two plus four seconds per 24 hours. That's what the golden medallion inset on the rotor represents, and that's what the special signature at six o'clock on the dial represents. Remember, a Swiss COSC certified chronometer is able to deviate by minus four plus six per day. So this is above and beyond the industry standard. A movement that is hand regulated and hand built by Grand Seiko watchmakers. It is a 12 24 hour format dual time, 36,000 vibrations per hour, that is 10 beats per second, which accounts for the very smooth sweep of the seconds hand. 
It features the hacking or stop seconds and everything from the springs, the mainspring, as well as the hairspring, the shock protection springs, the jewels, even the lubricants used on the jewels created in-house by Grand Seiko. This limited edition of 350 pieces, a manufactured product through and through. You can see this extraordinary 9S anniversary limited edition built to celebrate 20 years of the seminal 9S mechanical, powered itself by a specially regulated 9S movement. See it with its friends in the Grand Seiko collection on GovbergWatches.com. The Grand Seiko SBGJ229, 9S anniversary in the dark. See it by day on GovbergWatches.com.